Frogs from 1972 is a human versus nature film starring Sam Elliott and also features a lot of frogs. Seriously, there is a ton of frogs in this movie, and rightfully so. One nitpick about the credits. What color do you think of when you think of frogs? Green, right? So why is the font blue? There, that's better. The movie opens up with our main character, Pickett, taking photographs of all the wildlife, and then he starts taking pictures of all the garbage and the pollution found in the lake. Brother and sister, Clint and Karen, are out on a speedboat, and Clint is drinking heavily. They get too close to Pickett and knock him out of his canoe, ruining his camera and all of his equipment. Oh, now you did it! At least they have the decency to turn around and help him out. The group heads back to the family mansion, where we are introduced to the Crockett's. Ben, where are you going? Got a chance to close, Grandpa. Karen, what's going on? Grandpa, this is Pickett Smith. Mr. First, there's the Grandpa, who is kind of a dick. Everyone is gathered there to celebrate the 4th of July and his birthday. He is adamant that his family get together and celebrate at the mansion every year. We also meet Clint's wife, the aunt, Iris, cousin, Kenneth, and his girlfriend, Bella. Look what I found. Look what I found. He's gigantic. Don't be so stupid, Jay. Don't, Mike. That's mine. Now listen, Jay, Tina, you're both late. Now go sit down and eat your food. Jay, you were right. He was gigantic. Oh, I hate those things, and they make so much noise. Just making everybody crazy. No oh, nonsense, Jenny. You see many frogs along the shore, Mr. Smith? Yes, sir, a few. More than you'd consider usual? At lunch, we learn there really is an abundance of frogs and other wildlife on the property, and the family does not like it. The frogs are keeping them awake at night, and they started dumping oil into the water to kill them. This family really doesn't care what other effects that might have. How do they get rid of the frogs now? Well, it seems like everyone in our family's hung up on frogs. They really do keep us awake every night. Those of us who don't consume a fifth of vodka every night, that is. Well, I suggest you do me a favor. Go take a good look round. Come back, give me an honest report so I can quieten down this nervous group. The grandpa asked Pickett to walk around the island and try to find another way to get rid of the frogs. But secretly, he asks him to look for a man named Grover, a maintenance man set out to spray poison earlier that day who hasn't returned. Now, if I might ask a small favor, it's obvious you can't see the whole island before dark. No, oh, I don't think I have to see the whole island. But if you would take the north road, and keep your eyes peeled for my man Grover. He left about six o'clock this morning to do some spraying up in that little bay up there where the mosquitoes and the frogs are pretty bad. But it's my belief he's AWOL with a little lady friend from across the lake. Pickett finds several dead animals killed by the poison, and eventually, he finds the body of Grover. Presumably, the snakes got him. 
So I'm not 100% sure on this, but if they used an actual actor and not a dummy, then that guy had to lay there in the water while snakes and frogs and who knows what else crawled all over him until they were done filming. The family are obviously spoiled and even refer to themselves as ugly rich. Hey, at least they're self-aware. Noise is driving me insane. Won't they ever stop? Stop complaining, Jenny. It'll stop soon. Daddy, what if Grover's lying in a ditch somewhere? I hope he's not hurt. Serve him right if he is. Oh, Grandpa, that's awful. <laughs> you make us sound like the worst of the ugly rich. We are the ugly rich. Pickett comes back to the mansion and tells the grandfather about Grover. The grandfather decides that it's best to keep it a secret from the rest of the family so that they can enjoy the festivities. Well, thanks for telling me first. I appreciate it. No use frightening the others, today of all days. Yeah, I'm gathered tomorrow's quite a celebration. This week with my family is the one permanent thing left in my life. The next morning, Pickett walks around the island again, finding all kinds of wildlife. He's pretty relaxed about it too, finding a rattlesnake in the middle of the path, and he just smiles. I don't know about you, but I would have freaked out and hightailed it out of there. Michael goes off by himself to try to see why the phones aren't working, and the dumbass shoots himself in the leg. He falls down and is attacked by a bunch of spiders, and seemingly the tree itself. Kenneth is in the greenhouse and a lizard knocks over a bunch of chemicals causing a reaction as smoke fills the room. These lizards seem to be chemists because they know exactly what to mix to kill the guy. Probably the hardest scene in the whole movie to watch is when a frog ruins the cake. Oh, what a waste. Iris is out hunting butterflies and she just about strangles herself like an idiot. She finds several snakes on the trail and acts a bit more like I would expect. She freaks out and runs into the thick woods. She falls into water and instantly is covered in leeches. Finally, a rattlesnake bites her and she dies, turning blue instantly. Stuart is next. 
He goes out and looks for Iris, and he is attacked by an alligator. Or is it a crocodile? I really can't tell the difference. Anyway, he wrestles the thing for a while, but in the end, he is killed too. I'm just as heartbroken over this tragedy as any of you. But there's plenty of time later to do what has to be done. Later? Why wait, Grandpa? What because difference will Because I won't let I... anything interfere with today's schedule. Not anything. The remaining people discuss leaving the island, but the grandfather doesn't want to hear it. He is adamant that they stay and celebrate there. Even though half the family has been killed at this point, he still wants his birthday party. Well, I know what to do, and we're going to do it. Just because of one death, an accident. Bella and the staff decide that they've had enough, and Clint takes them by boat to the mainland, where they discover that it too is overrun with creatures. This time, birds attack and kill them. Clint escapes the birds and he gets to a boat, but the keys are missing, so he swims out to another boat. Just as he makes it, some snakes get him. Clint's wife sees all this through binoculars and she runs after him, but she gets her foot stuck in ankle deep water, and of, out of all things, a turtle gets her. gasoline around here in the tool shed. Back at the mansion, the frogs are trying to break in. Pickett goes to get some gas to light them up, but they all flee. This is a turning point for Pickett, because he was peaceful and wanted to coexist with the animals, but now he's taking the family's side and he wants to kill them all. Hi, Grandpa. The remaining survivors, minus the grandpa, leave. And he is super mad that they're leaving him, giving them all the cold shoulder. They take Pickett's canoe and snakes circle all around. They get caught on something in the water and Pickett has to jump in and free them. He gets surrounded, but he's able to fight them off. He frees the canoe, and they get back to civilization, where they flag down a car. Thanks for stopping. Inside the car, we find out that this animal attack is happening everywhere, and not just on their little island. We've been on this road for practically three hours straight, and you're the first souls we've seen in an hour. It seems very strange that everybody's disappeared inside on a holiday. Hey, you want to see what I caught? They were all over the place at camp. Ever seen a monster big as him before? In the final scene, the frogs break into the mansion, and although they can't really do much to kill the grandpa, they surround him, and he falls to the ground, where he seemingly dies of a heart attack as frogs jump all over him. <laughs> At the end credits, there's this funny little cartoon frog with a human hand in its mouth. This frog looks like it was drawn by the Schoolhouse Rock animators. 
This movie wasn't very kid friendly. So, how is Frogs? Uh, it's a movie, that's for sure. It's not bad, but it's not good. I like how we are secluded on this little island, and we really aren't sure until the end if this is happening anywhere else. Sam Elliott is good as always, but for a movie called Frogs, the frogs only kinda kill one person. Don't get me wrong, there are a ton of frogs in this movie, but they don't really do that much. I do like how each person was killed by a different creature, from spiders to snakes to even that turtle, but they should have called the movie Nature Attacks or something like that. I give frogs two out of four cartoon frogs. Oh, am I glad you're not hurt. Those canoes aren't very stable. It was just one of those things. 